My name is Leslie Anschlin, working for Pullman Laboratories. I'm presenting the following poster. Levels of infliximab and adalimumab biosimilars can be measured equivalently to originator drugs by quantum blue rapid testing as tool for therapeutic drug monitoring. In the treatment of different chronic inflammatory diseases, such as inflammatory bowel disease, drugs targeting TNF-alpha had a marked impact on the treatment success and quality of life of patients. Optimal therapeutic drug levels are key to a successful therapy and therefore require monitoring. The quantum blue infliximab and quantum blue adalimumab, initially validated for the originator drug, offer rapid measurement of trough level. Both allow for a quick decision making and optimization of patient treatment. The aim of this study was to demonstrate that the infliximab biosimilar and the adalimumab biosimilar, both from Sandoz Pharmaceuticals, equivalently quantify as their originator with the quantum blue infliximab and adalimumab rapid test using the quantum blue reader. Formulated infliximab and adalimumab, originator and biosimilar, were quantified by human IgG measurement and used to spike normal pooled serum samples. Spike samples for infliximab and adalimumab originators and biosimilars with known concentration were measured with the quantum blue infliximab and quantum blue adalimumab rapid tests, as shown in figure 1. Results were compared to, to the expected values. A recovery below 15% was used as an acceptance criteria. For each spiked sample, the expected concentration was calculated and compared to the obtained concentration, meaning the recovery. A mean relative bias of minus 1.9% was found for infliximab originator with individual recoveries ranging from 79.2% to 112.9%. For the infliximab biosimilar, a mean relative bias of minus 4.0% was found, while individual recoveries range from 89.5 to 102.5%. We show infliximab biosimilar recoveries as an example on figure 2. For adalimumab, a mean relative bias of minus 6.7% was found for the originator, with individual recoveries ranging from 81.8 to 116.9%. For the biosimilar, a mean relative bias of 1% was found, with individual recoveries ranging from 80.1% to 118.9%. The mean bias between both analyzed biosimilar and originator pairs were within acceptance criteria. Plant Altman analysis was used for method comparison to calculate the mean relative bias of the concentration levels of the analyzed samples. For infliximab biosimilar and originator, the bias was minus 7.6%. The mean relative bias between adalimumab biosimilar and originator was 12%. The mean bias between both analyzed biosimilar and originator pairs were within our acceptance criteria. In conclusion, the quantum blue infliximab and quantum blue adalimumab rapid tests are able to detect quantitative trough levels of the tested infliximab and adalimumab biosimilars. Therefore, these tests offer equivalent quantification of infliximab and adalimumab originator drugs as well as several of their biosimilars, allowing for identification of patients with suboptimal drug levels as part of their therapeutic drug monitoring.